Hi, welcome to Six in One Movement Breaks. I have a fun little series that we're gonna work on now that play off of a jumping jack. So instead of doing the impact of a jumping jack, we're gonna get the same power and great hip motion that you're gonna be getting through that motion through our hips. The hips are such an important part of the body. We always wanna make sure that they have great mobility and strength and that they're also talking to our feet and our upper body so that we have great connectivity. So we're gonna start this motion with our feet a little further than hip width apart. You want to find what feels comfortable. We're going to shift our weight all the way over to one side and you want to feel how that feels. This is where you're going to be hanging out for a little while. So we're going to just rock our hips front and back. So that's that front to back motion. Then from here, still pre-position and hanging out over the side, I'm going to try and go a little bit more into the side and back, a little bit more and back doing about four of each. Then pre-positioned here, I'm going to think about my hips turning. So I'm going to rotate my hips. How does this feel for you? Are you feeling any twinges of anything? If your knee is bothering you, you're going, I don't like this, shorten up your step and do the same thing. If you're going, I didn't feel too much of anything with that, take a little bit bigger step. Give yourself a little bit more stretch. So right now, kind of judge which piece that you like better. Let's try the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna cross over here, find that distance. All of my weight is shifted over here, so I'm gonna stay over here. A lot of times as we start doing that front to back motion, our body wants to kind of pull back to the center. We wanna make sure we're staying over to the side as we do this motion. And what we're doing is we're getting a really nice stretch in this inner thigh here. Good. Now we'll go a little bit deeper into it and then just come back to that starting point. Good. And rotate. And again, how does your body feel? Where are you feeling this? Can you feel your arch of your foot kind of pressing down as you come in? You should feel that. So again, do I need to make that a little bit bigger? Do I need to make it a little smaller? So that's the first one that we're going to work on. So. By doing this, we wanna add a little bit of weight. If you have a dumbbell at home, you can hold on to one dumbbell on either side of it. You can grab a little medicine ball if you have it. If you don't have anything at home, you can use a water jug. And being wave makers, we love to use our water. Depending on how much water you put in here, it depends on the weight. So you can gauge whether you want just a little bit of weight or you want more and more weight. So you can kind of create your own load. So we're going to go back into that first position that we had. You want to go the distance you were comfortable with. We're going to shift our weight into that hip. So we're over onto this side and we're going to take our weight now and our hips are going to come back as the hand comes down to the knee and then we're going to come forward as the hands come up. So down, two, and three. Now from up above, we're going to go a little bit deeper, push the hips over and then come back to the center, a little bit deeper, come back to the center. If this bothers you with the hands overhead, what we can do is bring the hands lower, rotate, turn the hips, turn the hips. We're gonna go through it on the other side with lower hands. So I'm gonna shift my weight onto this side. Now I'll come down and just come up to my chest height. I don't have to go above my head if that's too much on my shoulders. And then if I want to go side to side, all I do is bring the weight over to the one side. The jug has a nice handle and I can, it's going to be on this side, I can reach and come back, reach, and then rotate. Very good. So that was that nice motion. Now what we can do is we can change up the feet. So we're gonna try the same thing we did in the beginning. We're going to cross the foot in front of us. Now, if this is too much of a motion for you, you can grab a counter or a chair to kind of hold on to, or you can just do a very tight stance. So I'm gonna cross just a little bit and have my foot in front of me, and we're gonna rock the hips front to back. And then we're gonna drive the hips in and back and then we're gonna rotate. By being in this cross or narrow position, we're kind of getting our body to lean into a specific position and we're creating some nice length in this hip. So now we'll go to the other side, crossing, hips come front to back. 
hips go side and back to center. And now we're we'll rotate. So everything we're thinking about in this first part is where's our hips and making our hips go through that motion. Listen to where your body was. If this is too much of a stretch, do your feet a little narrower or just do them parallel to each other. You're gonna kinda of get the same motion, just not as big of a stretch. Now we're gonna add that load into it again. So we're gonna take our feet and cross, so we're leaning a little bit over to the side. We can start with the hands low and we'll just come to shoulder height for the first one. If I'm trying to go deeper into the hip this way, I'll let the weight pull me into it so I have to come out of it. And then I'll rotate. It's really cool with the water because the water moves a little bit and makes you have to work against that. So you get a really nice neurological kind of adaptation you're working with. We'll go to the other side. This side we'll do the, um, the bigger arms. We'll come down and up over the head. We'll go side to side. And we'll rotate. These tips and techniques are great for any position. We did the push-up, we did the jumping jack position where I had you wider and narrow as if we were going through a jumping jack motion. You can use these same ideas with other motions that you like and use the water to help give you a little bit weight. Enjoy the six-in-one movement break.